Uh, y'all, hold on. Let me let up these windows because it's loud out here. Um, child, when it rains, it pours. We are towards the end of October. October. <laughs> towards the end of September. Um, yeah, I'm trying to stay upbeat and as positive as possible, but my patience is done. I know, I thought I would be in a better mood, especially now that we're back in the house. So let me give y'all an update. We got back in the house last week. Our AC was officially fixed last Wednesday. We were literally in hotel since the first week of September. Yeah, like no joke. I think we ch checked in the first hotel like September 5th. And it's like September 27th. So we got back home like the 16th or 15th or something like that. I can't remember exactly. Like, I, even later than that. What am I talking about? It's the 27th. So, we've been back home for a week. Um, AC is working fine. Um, having the time to get back on schedule, get things in order, because um, my best friend is coming down here in two more weeks. And just, just trying to get back on schedule in general, because let me tell you, it was a hassle having to get up. Like I said, we were all on different schedules, ensuring that JV gets off to school, um, while simultaneously doing his homework and working. We ended up staying in four different hotels and eight hotel rooms yeah there was no exaggeration it was very tiring and it was a lot of lot going on on so it's great to be back home and get things situated fall is here <clears throat> our allergies start to flare up last week manifested in some type of cold you can tell my voice is still kind of scratchy um i feel okay but it's up and down um, I'm tired y'all. I need I, I think I need some days off. So thankfully I have some PTO coming up in two more weeks Whew. Woke up this morning Fridays and Thursdays is when I really start to wrap up things for the next weekend My co-worker and uh, team member is out next week So I'm covering for her that I'm out the following week. So I'm trying to get everything ready, right? Just trying to catch up Got up early. When I mean early this morning, got up at 4.30, boom, start working. Yeah, I, I'm a beast in the morning. I start to wind down around 1 or 2, so I get the most done in the morning time. I'm, I'm a morning person. Why does my internet go out? <sighs> Basically, there's something wrong with one of our physical connections, so someone's coming out in the morning. I'm like, cool. First thing in the morning, I'm like, okay, cool. I got my phone. I can do stuff from my phone, right? Got my phone. I'm okay. I give the phone to JB so he can, you know, so he can uh, watch something while I'm I'm getting ready. He's eating breakfast, watching my cell phone, you know, to keep him occupied, preoccupied. <clears throat> Our TV <clears throat> is <clears throat> sorry, y'all, my throat. <clears> throat> All of our TV connection is through our internet, so we don't have TV for today. That's fine. Got my phone, right? I all of a sudden I hear some quiet, and JB is like. I can't get it to work. I'm like, what's going on? Get a message from Verizon. You're all out of data. Totally forgot that while we were in and out of these hotel rooms, I was in between trying to reconnect to the hotel Wi-Fi. I was using my cell phone data. So, <sighs> have to pay out of pocket for that. We're gonna go ahead and buy a new oven. Yeah, my oven doesn't work. The stove, three of the eyes work. Um, top of the stove the fourth one it works, but it overheats so our system had our oven has some type of temperature thing going on I'm okay with that, but it's just still like another thing we have to purchase. You know what I mean? I'm just so over it y'all I just want to catch a break. I'm ready for my best friend to come down so we can have some fun I took off I should have taken off the entire week, but I just took off a couple of days Here. So. Hold okay. it Hold it you hold it. Kylie and Tia can do it. You I'm can a professional vlogger. We do it on my iPad though. Yeah, yes, we yes, do yes. it on my iPad. It's recording you. Do you know Wait, that? Wait, what? <laughs> and today we are going to be doing... You're going to be cleaning up that room. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to be cleaning the nursery. And then, I don't Tell know. them why you're cleaning it. Yeah, why are you cleaning it? We're cleaning it because it's going to be Taryn's room. Is it really? Because what? Are you trying to get from me? Oh, we need money. Oh, I don't oh. You need she money? 20 bucks. 20 bucks? Yeah, I'm going to Wait a minute. Where's your, where's your camera? You have to do your outro. I I do have a camera. We've yet to You're hear sweating it. like a fat person. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you do that in front of people? You are so Yesterday rude. you said you were fat, so it is. <laughs> no, you didn't. He didn't say he was fat yesterday. <laughs> Here, baby. Here. Will not be tolerated. Jesus. 
Girl, turn up. Turn up at home with my bonnet on with this drink. Let me tell you something, Mr. Delightful. I know she watches my video. Y'all, Mr. Delightful. Mr. Delightful old country ass taught me. <laughs> she know. She know I'm playing with her. She sent me a picture of this foolery. It was this green apple vodka with the mango. I got that in there too, girl. But I don't really, I don't really like that as much as I like it with the cranberry. Oh yes. Yeah. So y'all, I'm about to cook. Hold on. Jamie, my husband, are outside doing something to the poor child. I don't know. I am cooking orange chicken with fried rice. Now, typically with a good fried rice, you want the rice to be like a day old. But I'm cooking the rice now. Um, I'm making a lot of veggies to go with it. I typically don't. I typically don't keep heart liquor in the fr in the uh, house here. And honestly, when my best friend come, I'm not gonna do heart liquor. I'm not gonna have heart liquor here in the house. I'm gonna buy us a bunch of wine the first night. Now, let me let y'all know what the agenda is gonna be. We still got two more weeks, but let me know what y'all. Let me let y'all know what the agenda is going to be. <coughs> Hold on. Let me turn this down. Something's on high. Uh, she's gonna be here for five days. I am so excited. So the first night we're staying in, I'm gonna be making, uh, cooking fried fish, girl. We're gonna do a fish fry, and so I'm gonna have wine. I may do vodka, but when, when she was here before, whenever we get together, we get trashed. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. We turn all the way up. You hear me? We do. Um, but we pace ourselves, especially now that we're a little bit older, y'all. She's been my best friend for about 20 years, yeah. And so, anyway, um, I'm going to be cooking. We're going to be staying in the first night. Just chill night. She's flying in. Relax. Chill night. Catch up. Relax. The next day is going to be that Thursday. Her and I are going to go out to eat. Um, do a nice little, you know, breakfast place or whatever. And then probably eat in again, Then you know. Or maybe even get something to eat, you know, pick something up. I'll probably have my neighbors to keep JB that Thursday. Friday, my husband is off. My husband's actually off Friday and Saturday. But Friday, my husband is off. Excuse me, I'm spitting. So Friday, we're going to go out to our spot. We're in fucking Scottsdale. That day, we'll probably, I don't know, I'll probably take her... I'll take her up to, up here to Anthem Outlets, and we'll just walk around. You know, just do outdoor stuff. My my best friend is very low chill. Why is this thing so loud? Hey y'all, how y'all doing? We are out Saturday morning. I don't think JB is feeling too well. I don't know what it is. He's very quiet. I think he's tired. So we have a lot to do this morning. Child, hold on, girl. No, hold on. No, I just think he's tired. That's all. So this morning, um, we're gonna stop by the Dollar Tree. We have uh, less than two weeks before my best friend is here in town. So one of the things I like to do is to have a little bit of toiletries for the guests that are coming in. Even though I know most people pack them something, you know, since she's going to be there for a couple of days, you know, get her a couple of things that she may want to add to her body. Anyway, um, and after that, we're going to go shopping, grocery shopping, and then I'll take the baby to an indoor playground. See, he's not, I know, he's, we were at planned on going to Anthem Park. He woke up this morning with whelps all over his body. Meaning he's having some type of allergic reaction. The allergy season is bad. So I did give him some Benadryl. Um, I've been bad about him taking his singular. So, sorry I'm not looking at the camera. So I need to make sure that, baby, we need to make sure you take your singular, okay? So, okay. So, yeah, he woke up with um, just whelps on his body. So that's just an allergic reaction, his allergies. And he was playing outside in that dirt and water late yesterday. Uh, and yeah, and all I did was wipe off the stuff, so I should have given him a full blown bath to make sure that all the pollen or whatever is off his body. So, um, we're just gonna do a couple of errands, run out so he could play, and then we will more than likely just be home by one or two o'clock. Um, I'm back on the intermittent fasting. I had to, sorry, y'all, why didn't y'all tell me that was beeping? Hell. I was on an intermittent uh, fasting, got off on it when we were, you know, in the hotel for the past two and a half weeks, girl. So I'm gonna jump back on it. 
and get back on it. That for with me, basically, I just skip breakfast. So I'm gonna give me some coffee here and here. That's sugar. That's calories. And then we will more than likely eat out. Um, and then I'm making a Zupa. You know that Zupa uh, soup that Olive Garden sells, the one with the potatoes and kale, and they put sausage in there. I'm not doing sausage. I think I'm going to do turkey. Yeah, I'm gonna do ground turkey. So I'm gonna make that for dinner. And then we'll have it for lunch tomorrow and we'll go to church for the first time in a while yeah because it's been so crazy go to church now y'all the internet came back up yesterday i fixed it i was able to fix it i unplug stuff replug now we got something wrong with the water heater though well our water is cold you know it's lukewarm it's not getting hot and that's the problem you gotta have hot water so we have them coming now it's the same company though and we have a service with them so they're gonna look at it for free and all that thank god so uh it is what it is i'm still blessed okay you have to keep a mind of thanksgiving because when things go on it's real easy to get negative and to just dwell on the negative stuff it can't be that way okay let me go ahead and get up here and get some coffee y'all No, don't push the button. <laughs> That's why you don't have one at all. Look at that. What's amazing that you can push buttons. Oh, in more ways than one. Let me tell you, that, that's a pun. <laughs> it's right there and it says, try me. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> That's what you get, and we can't because of allergies. So, <laughs> yay! Now let's go this way, y'all. Take care. Bye. <laughs> Child, the pioneer woman, Re Re. Uh, what is her name? Re Drummond and Lad. When I tell you this woman married into money, she did good, honey. I tried to look at some tea on her, couldn't find much. Now, I know her daughter got a DUI not too long ago, but hey, that's, that's you can't control your kids. You can only pray for them and send them out into, into the world. So, um, yeah, y'all, I got too much stuff already. I mean, there really ain't much else. I don't have, I don't have any room, I guess is what I'm saying, to get anything else like this. playing around I ate earlier girl I ate some chicken when I eat like this I'm so lethargic so when I get home my butt is working out I haven't worked out in like nearly three weeks so it's time to get back on it um yeah I'm only having the one meal if I get hungry later on I'll probably have like a few crackers or something that's less than 100 calories um went to the grocery store and get hardly any fruit but I do have some fruit at home um paycheck was looking real nice y'all our raises went through this pay period which is good so anyway um yeah i'm talking about like a hundred fifty dollars more god is good you know so we are way in I was Tookie. I was thinking about texting my um, friend Wanda to see if she was home, but I'm tired. We're gonna go home. Um, plus, I don't like to do that. She's an she's an extrovert, so she wouldn't mind us just dropping by. But I think she lives with her boyfriend now, so I don't want to do that. Um. <clears throat> Good morning, y'all. Ciao. I'm telling you, I need to sage my house. Like seriously, Ooh, my glasses match my uniform. My mommy. <laughs> I told y'all our water heater now is having problems and I thought my husband was exaggerating when he said the water's not getting warm. Baby, it's cold. 
it is like and it's slowly but surely the heat has depleted I took a shower and I took a shower yesterday I could only be in there for a few minutes it was so cold so we have someone coming out tomorrow I looked at it yesterday the furnace the water heater excuse me and the light is out I tried to light it myself I started smelling a little bit of gas which is normal when you put it on pilot but I don't want to play with that yeah you don't want to play with that so um <clears throat> so hopefully they'll be able i could probably ask one of my neighbors to do it so that's the thing about i'm gonna try to whisper yeah i know how i'm domesticated right <laughs> making like i'm a damn a, a dog or something i mean like i ain't your average so my husband is like everybody else <laughs> meaning he won't even like and i don't know if it's because how he was raised because he's he was privileged yeah he, they had helpers i told y'all this my husband grew up wealthy um, now there's a difference between you know old old money and new money. This is old money he came from, so so um, they're used to having people do stuff for them. So instead of trying to figure it out, hey, he's like, oh, we gotta have someone come over. Whereas I'm like, um, we could at least try. Child, I'm not even gonna argue with that, which I understand. He's probably tired of even dealing with the house issues in, in general. So hopefully it's just a quick fix. You know, ain't nothing we gotta wait, you know. And at least we still have water, but I can't wash my hair. Cause, I mean, I can, but it's gonna be cold. This morning I'm up working on my family recipe book. Um, <coughs> still getting over the allergies. Um, one of the things I'm gonna be doing this morning, or today, cause it's gonna take all day. When I go on to church, I am so tired. When I tell you, first of all, I didn't even want to go out yesterday. I went out with the baby because I told him we would, we would go out. But I am, I'm exhausted. So I need to take today and rest. Um, plus, we're still giving, getting over this allergy or whatever. My husband went to the doctor Friday and turned out what he had turned into a sinus infection. Um, so we're, thankfully, JB is okay. Um, what's the point? I'm going to be making bone broth today um and if you know anything about bone broth first of all bone broth is great for everyone especially if you have any type of autoimmune issues um even those of you unfortunately if you have have cancer if you're going through chemo i understand a lot of the times when your your appetite is horrible when you're going through, through chemotherapy or even if you're on certain type of medication it could you know mess with your uh your appetite bone broth bone broth is amazing especially if you have you know with leaky gut you know all of that so um i've made it before Ugh, the last time i made it i was so upset i don't know what i was thinking i accidentally turned the the crock pot out and it was out for hours and my best friend was like oh just bring it to a boil and i don't want to play around with anything that's meat though so i i dumped it are right, you guys here are my ingredients for my bone broth now everyone makes bone broth totally different i roasted the bones for about 30 minutes my now mind you my oven isn't all that great so yeah anyway um i have in here two carrots first of all nothing is peeled he's just throwing everything in there raw it needs to be organic okay two carrots uh three sticks of celery celery including the leaves a bunch of parsley some thyme some people like rosemary i'm not a big fan of rosemary um what else a uh, half of a head of garlic with everything on half of an onion excuse jb and then i'm going to be adding uh bottled water bottled water to this um you don't want to use tap water and then i'm going to pour in a cap full of apple cider vinegar the apple cider vinegar is going to help to break down the bones even more this is going to be on low for a good 24 hours and then i will store it in mason jars i forgot to get freezer bags more than likely my husband and i would drink this over the next three days yeah we both could kill yeah if that's all we drink throughout that that's going to be my liquid that and water this is what i'm cooking today this is I don't know what you want to call this. It's a Brazilian inspired recipe. This is chicken uh, chicken thighs, boneless skinless chicken thighs. We have in here garlic, ginger, sorry, I've had a drink. <laughs> garlic, ginger, jalapeno, and I have some rice over here that I've done up. Now what's gonna go in here are some diced up tomatoes, um, cilantro, 
and then coconut milk. And doesn't that sound yummy? And then I'm gonna spoon that over the rice and I, I'm gonna fry it some plantains and that's it. I used like a Jamaican jerk type of spice on this. And yeah, I think this would be really good. I need to get some turmeric on here. Hold on y'all, let me get my turmeric. Whenever I find a time, a chance to cook with turmeric, I do. You only need a little bit. That's, that's a little bit for me. That's a little bit. Let me back her up some now. You can see it's the, I got my laptops up working. Hold on, y'all. I normally don't even get headaches. I think I might be dehydrated. Um, let me move this over some. I think I may be dehydrated. I drunk mostly bone broth. Yes, I forgot to drink a lot of water. I typically, I drink like half a gallon of water a day, which is not enough but i was drinking bone broth too um yeah our water is fixed we have hot water now um, 165 dollars for them to reignite the water heater i'm telling you what i told you my husband is not domesticated like me i'm like because i asked him i said did you try to reheat it i didn't really get a response i tried to reignite it excuse me and I was just afraid to do it after a couple of times. Now, I could have easily asked one of my neighbors what I don't want to do. Since my husband, even though he's not domestic, he's not necessarily traditional, he wouldn't dare ask for help. Child. I... <laughs> Girl, Bonnet Chronicles. JB sleep on the couch. Y'all, why is our water heater back out again? Girl. And you know what, having hot water, indoor hot water, is something that we in the West are used to. We're spoiled. A lot of countries, they don't have hot water. They use cold water all the time. But my ass is used to hot water. <laughs> and I typically need hot water to rinse out products for my hair. So I called my husband. He was, he was yelling. Not yelling at me, but upset that we just spent this money for them to look at the water heater. Uh, by the way, this is the same company that helped us with the AC. Girl, so long story short, we're just gonna go ahead and get a new water heater. Now, water water heaters don't cost a lot of money. I'm just curious to how much it's gonna cost to install. You can get a water heater for like $800. That's my damn stove money. But I digress, I digress. I, the only reason why I'm telling y'all is that this is affecting my ability to record hair related videos. This will be it for this vlog. I think this vlog is getting long. Yeah, I think this vlog is getting long. All right, y'all, next time you see me, I won't be flashing and all like this, but my best friend should be about coming in. I'll show y'all how I'm preparing her room for before she come in. That's what we're going to start off on. All right, y'all, take care. Bye.